ओके चलो आई थिंक इट्स रिकॉर्डिंग लेट्स हेलो यूट्यूब हेलो एवरीवन एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल एंड इफ यू सी दिस रोड्स डोंट टेक इट लाइक आई एम ऑन ए लॉन्ग ट्रिप और समथिंग आई जस्ट गॉट माय जॉब हियर एंड आई जस्ट मूव टू वेस्ट बंगाल कोलकाता सो दस द रीजन आई वाज नॉट एबल टू अपलोड एनी ऑफ माय वीडियोस एंड आई वाज नॉट एबल टू शूट एनी वीडियोज इन बैंगलोर it was just a hectic day and uh, i finally got my joining letter and uh, thankfully or luck uh, you can you can say anything the only location i wanted some in the northern part of the country was kolkata and i absolutely got one so this video is going to be one more informative video not any ride video or reading any bikes in this video i'm going to be telling you about what will happen if you do if you use a different kind of tires in the front and the back everyone has this misconception uh, misconception uh, that if you use different kind of tires both at the front and the back or any different brand it's not good especially in the performance bikes or any bike above 200 cc 250 cc bikes at least the bikes which can do triple digits but i did it <laughs> and i have ridden almost 15000 kilometers i swapped the two into these different branded tires when i did my 50000 kilometers now as you can see i have done 64559 That means I've ridden almost 15,000 kilometers. So I know how these tires behave and what are the advantages and disadvantages of these kind of tires when you use different branded and different pattern tires. I think these kind of experiments you should do in your beginner bike and you should learn more about the bike and the parts what you install in your bike. Then you will get a better idea of what you are gonna do in your future uh, videos. I mean, in your future <laughs> bikes. I mean. so these kind of uh, experiments you have to do in the earlier stage no earlier stage doesn't mean once you buy the bike swap the tires into different branded tires no uh, at least you should have uh, a minimum of 2 uh, years of experience in riding your bike <laughs> the second advantage you can save a lot of money for example the front tire what i'm using is a uh, mrf zapper it's a radial tire again uh, that costed me around 3000 uh and the back tire what i'm using is a michelin pilot street 2 uh that's made in india it's not the michelin pilot street radial it's not even a radial tire so you can understand what kind of experiment i'm doing on my bike so it's not even a radial bike which means it's it is not safe to ride in the high speeds but i have done 150 plus in these tires also so if you are an experienced one you will know how to handle the bike if you are new do not attempt these kind of things it's very dangerous and also it puts the other riders or the other people on the road in danger as well so please do not attempt these things when you are uh, in the earlier stage of your uh, uh, learning curve the third advantage is you you will observe that there is not much of a difference especially in the low cc category uh the difference between uh a radial tire a hard compound tire a soft compound tire you will not notice that much of a difference which makes you wonder uh is it really worth spending 11000 12000 rupees on uh, some of the tires like the apollo alpha h1 
or uh, the previous tires what i was using the michelin pilot street radial which costs around 16 to 17 thousand now so is it really worth it i i will say if you are only a kind of tourer city rider do not ride uh, in the performance uh, category then i think it's it's really it's really worth a shot you do not need more than these tires but but i am saying it but because even if you are a somewhat of a performance rider like if you want to take your bike to triple digits more than like 140 150 and all i will i will not recommend these tires it's it's good for 120 130 speeds but uh, not about that because after that the front start the steering starts wobbling uh, that's what i have observed i mean that that will come into the disadvantages category but i'm just telling you now if i want to tell you about the disadvantages uh, the disadvantages i have the like i told you before the bike starts wobbling after 140s and 150s i have experienced this it's not it's not like it uh, it's not that bad of a wobbling that you find it in uh, the royal enfields no and it's it's not that kind of a wobbling but if you if you are connected with your bike if you know how your bike feels when it is in good condition then you will definitely feel that uh, your bike is wobbling or your front uh, tire is wobbling that's 100% sure even if you have a slightest of idea how your bike behaves then yes you 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 will definitely find out that it is wobbling and uh, the second disadvantage so what disadvantage is that the braking uh, the the biggest difference what i have found in these tires is the braking it is not that good especially in the wet uh, it is not that good it does not good that good of a job you, you this these tires need more time to heat up these tires need more time to you know cool down as well so because it's a hard compound tire it's is just a characteristics of the uh, this material it's not the fault of the uh, tire or something these tires behave uh, that like, uh, like that so it's it's not it's not uh, something which you have to worry about if you are an uh, calm and uh, composed rider and uh, if you are not an aggressive rider there is no need to worry about that because i have ridden it aggressively and i can tell you if you ride any less than me then you are you are good to go for these tires that's the that's the so according to me that's the biggest disadvantage if you find uh, the braking is not if you find that uh, you are aggressive rider and you like to brake hard or if your bike doesn't have good uh, brakes then please do not uh, install these kind of tires uh, i suggest you to go for a good pair of tires because tires do make a lot of changes they are of course improve your performance they improve your mileage they improve your braking capacity as well these hard compound tires are only meant for longer life longer duration and just to you know cruise on the highway it's not at all meant for performance riding if you have seen my colleague's video uh, when i where i even touch my toes uh, to the ground with these tires do not attempt those kind of uh, tricks on all please i am a little crazy and uh, i know how to handle this bike because i know how this bike behaves i know where the mass of center of gravity is for for this bike so i know how to handle even uh, a, a heavy bike like this i mean for a 250 cc it's heavy because it's around 180 kilos so i know how to handle this bike and it is a longer uh, the wheel base is longer in this one so all these things will settle into your uh, hands in your body or in your veins so whatever you can say but these kind of things settle in your body after some time so you know how the bike behaves and 
how the bike does not so at that time i i, I was i knew that i could i could do this so that's the reason i uh, i rode my bike that hard in those curves in kollels so that's all this is there for this video with that said have a safe ride and uh, take care of yourself and your bike see you in my next video bye bye